Imagine a railway station larger than 170 football fields, a place capable of welcoming tens of thousands of passengers every single hour. And it is not only a point of departure, but an entire miniature city filled with office towers, hotels, shopping centers, and even public parks. This is Chongqing East Railway Station, the largest railway station in the world newly opened in China. This colossal project does more than transform the way people in Chongqing travel. It also demonstrates how China's infrastructure ambitions are pushing far beyond anything the world has ever known before. Chongqing, one of the largest centrally administered municipalities in China, today has a population of more than 30 million people within its expanded administrative area. That number is comparable to the population of many medium-sized countries, underlining the immense scale of the city. Yet this colossal population comes with a paradox that has persisted for decades. The difficulty of building and operating transportation infrastructure. Geography is the most decisive factor behind this challenge. The city is surrounded by mountains and divided by major rivers, including the mighty Yangtze that cuts directly through its center. Residential areas are separated by deep valleys, steep hills, and wide waterways. Expanding roads or railways faces daunting obstacles, both technical and financial. Yeah, long bridges, mountain tunnels, and winding roadways have become familiar images of Chongqing, but they also symbolize the limitations of moving large volumes of passengers and cargo efficiently. Railways were introduced relatively early as a partial solution, yet they were never enough to meet the fast-growing demand. Older lines often had to follow the contours of the terrain, making travel times long, limiting operational speed, and reducing stability. When China's high-speed rail network exploded in the 2000s and 2010s, Chongqing was finally linked to major cities. But almost immediately, the system began showing signs of overload. The most telling case was Chongqing North Station, which served as the primary hub for high-speed rail in the city for more than a decade. At first, it was hailed as a breakthrough, slashing travel times to other urban centers. But within just a few years, passenger growth far exceeded projections during peak travel seasons, its corridors and waiting halls were packed to overflowing, with crowding a regular occurrence. Limited land and poor positioning made expansion prohibitively expensive, if not impossible. A metropolis of more than 30 million residents, acting as the economic engine of Southwest China, clearly needed a transportation gateway that matched its scale. Yet for years, Chongqing was considered a bottleneck in the national network. High-speed trains arrived, but not in sufficient strength to make the city a true connecting hub. Rising demand for mobility, trade, and regional integration placed mounting pressure on policymakers to find a more comprehensive solution. It was precisely this paradox, a giant city with insufficient connectivity, that became the driving force behind the decision to build an entirely new railway station. One with unmatched scale and functions, designed to transform Chongqing's transportation landscape for the 21st century. To understand why Chongqing East Railway Station was chosen as a strategic project, we must look at the broader context of China's national transportation planning over the past two decades. The government announced the eight verticals and eight horizontals plan a high-speed rail network stretching tens of thousands of miles, linking every major urban center. Positioned at the heart of Southwest China, Chongqing became an indispensable link in this national blueprint. Yet, the existing infrastructure centered mainly around Chongqing North Station was no longer capable of handling such a critical role. Alongside the national infrastructure strategy, the region was also guided by the Twin City Economic Circle Initiative, designed to connect Chongqing and Chengdu as dual engines of Western growth. The idea was to create an integrated corridor of economy, technology, and industry, where goods, people, and ideas could circulate with maximum efficiency. To achieve that vision, a transportation hub of sufficient scale was needed, an eastern gateway capable of unlocking regional potential. By the year 2019, after multiple rounds of research, local authorities made the decision to launch Chongqing East Railway Station in the eastern part of the city. The reasoning went beyond simply finding more land for construction. It reflected a deeper urban development strategy, shifting economic and infrastructural focus toward the east to relieve pressure on the already congested central districts. This area still had available land, making it ideal for forming a new integrated cluster of transportation and urban life. 
Chongqing East was envisioned not just as a train station, but as the Eastern Gateway, a new symbol of China's infrastructure ambitions. It was tasked with connecting multiple high-speed corridors, including the chongqing Xiamen Line running along the eastern seaboard, the chongqing Yinchuan Line stretching northeast, and long-term routes to Shanghai and Chengdu. This convergence transforms the station into a strategic interchange, enabling seamless movement in all four directions, our north, south, east, and west. What makes this project unique is that from the very beginning, it was never about transportation alone. It was tied to an urban vision. Surrounding the station, a new development zone is planned, complete with office towers, hotels, shopping complexes, and green public spaces. This reflects the emerging philosophy of station city integration, where a transport hub becomes the engine of urban expansion and restructuring. The decision in 2019 marked a turning point. From a city long constrained by the transport challenges, Chongqing stepped into a new era, an era where a colossal project is expected not only to solve decades-old limitations, but also to redefine the city's position on China's national map. Chongqing East Railway Station quickly drew global attention for numbers that seem almost beyond imagination. According to its design, the building's floor area reaches between 1.22 and 1.23 million square meters, equal to more than 13 million square feet, or roughly 170 standard football fields. To put this into perspective, if compared with Grand Central Terminal in New York, which covers about 2 million square feet, Chongqing East is nearly six times larger. Even against Nagoya Station in Japan, long considered one of the world's biggest railway hubs, Chongqing East surpasses it by several hundred thousand square meters. In terms of operational capacity, the station is equipped with 15 platforms and 29 tracks. This system is capable of handling multiple high-speed and conventional train lines simultaneously, reducing congestion during peak hours. Designed to process as many as 16,000 passengers per hour, it translates into hundreds of thousands of journeys every single day. These figures not only demonstrate the scale of the project, but also reflect a long-term vision, preparing for continuously rising transportation demand over decades to come. Connectivity is its most strategic highlight. Chongqing East will become the junction point for seven high-speed rail lines, two conventional railways, and direct connections to four metro lines in the city. Among them, Metro Line 6 was already in operation from the day of opening. Lines 24 and 27 are under construction. While Line 8 remains in long-term planning, this model enables passengers to move from high-speed trains to metro services or buses Without ever leaving the station grounds, an outstanding example of a zero transfer hub in modern transit planning, travel times have also been dramatically shortened. From Chongqing East, passengers can reach Chengdu or Guiyang in just about one hour, Wuhan, Xi'an, or Kunming in roughly three hours, and Beijing, Shanghai, or Guangzhou in only six hours. These numbers highlight how Chongqing is now more tightly integrated than ever into China's national transportation network. With its enormous scale and diverse connectivity, Chongqing East stands as more than infrastructure. It is a symbol of organizational power and strategic investment. It functions as a gateway for the Southwest while serving as a springboard for deeper integration with the nation's major economic centers. In the world of rail transport, few projects today can match Chongqing East in size, capacity, and integration. One of the features that makes Chongqing East Railway Station truly stand out is its iconic architectural design. The massive roof covers more than 1.3 million square feet, equal to roughly 120,000 square meters, and weighs over 36 million pounds, or about 16,500 tons. This enormous structure is supported by steel columns shaped like the Hanga tree, a symbolic plant of Chongqing. These tree columns are not only aesthetic, but also integrated with skylights allowing natural light to flood the interior space and reducing the need for artificial lighting. It is a striking demonstration of how architecture and functionality can blend seamlessly in a mega infrastructure project. The interior is organized vertically across eight floors, both above and below ground. The uppermost level houses the platforms for both high-speed and conventional trains, with 15 platforms and 29 tracks in total. The lower levels are designated for waiting halls, metro connections, bus terminals, underground parking, as well as commercial centers, hotels, 
and service facilities. This vertical organization optimizes space, takes advantage of Chongqing's natural topography, and creates a multifunctional environment within a single building. Passenger experience is placed at the very center of the design, from ticketing to boarding. The station uses ID and passport recognition systems, minimizing the reliance on paper tickets. This reduces waiting times and eliminates redundant security checks. Additional amenities include baby care stations, spacious and modern restrooms, multilingual signage systems, and bright, open waiting areas. Every aspect of the interior is designed to provide comfort, safety, and convenience even during peak hours. When compared with the world's top transport landmarks, Chongqing East evokes the grandeur of international airports. Its vaulted roof, natural lighting, and vast halls resemble the atmosphere of Beijing Daxing International Airport, often described as the world's largest starfish-shaped airport. From a passenger experience perspective, the station also recalls the features of Terminal 5 at Heathrow in London, where commercial facilities are seamlessly integrated with transport services. The key difference at Chongqing East is its depth of integration, not just air travel, but railways, metro lines, and public transit are all brought together in one single space. It is precisely this combination of aesthetics and utility that allows Chongqing East to transcend the category of infrastructure. It embodies a new design philosophy. A station is no longer just a destination, but an experience of architecture, convenience, and culture an essential piece of the modern urban landscape. The steep mountainous terrain and harsh climate of Chongqing have always posed enormous challenges for any infrastructure project. During the summer months, temperatures regularly climb above 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, making construction conditions extremely difficult. To build a structure with more than 13 million square feet of floor space under such circumstances, engineers had no choice but to apply modern technological solutions instead of relying on traditional construction methods. One of the most striking features was the large-scale use of robotics and automation. Laser-guided bulldozers were deployed to grade the ground with millimeter-level precision, minimizing errors in dealing with complex terrain. Concrete robots accelerated pouring and surface leveling, ensuring consistent quality even in sweltering heat. Most notably, robotic arms capable of installing glass panels weighing up to 1,800 pounds, about 800 kilograms replaced much of the dangerous manual labor. In addition, artificial intelligence-powered safety patrol systems monitored potential hazards and helped reduce workplace accidents. Thanks to automation, labor productivity increased by as much as three times compared to traditional methods. While labor costs were cut by up to 50%, the use of robots also lowered the number of weather-related accidents and significantly shortened construction timelines. As a result, from groundbreaking in the year 2019 to completion and full operation in mid-2025. The entire project took only about six years. For a world-class megastation of this size, that pace is considered exceptionally impressive. To put this into perspective, one can compare it with many infrastructure projects in the West. In the United States of America, planning and constructing a high-speed rail line or a major station often stretches over decades due to high costs, political debates, and complex administrative procedures. A prime example is the California High Speed Rail Project, launched in the year 2008, but still unfinished today, while its scale is only a fraction of Chongqing East. This contrast highlights a fundamental difference in approach. China prioritizes speed and construction technology to turn ideas into reality in the shortest possible time. By combining advanced engineering technology, centralized project management, and rapid implementation, Chongqing East transformed from a concept on paper into one of the largest railway stations on the planet in less than a single decade. This achievement is not only proof of technical capability, but also a reflection of an infrastructure philosophy, treating time as a decisive factor in the global race for competitiveness. The arrival of Chongqing East Railway Station is not limited to its role as a modern transport hub. It carries strategic importance for both urban planning and regional development. At the center of this vision lies the concept of station-city integration, a new mindset in infrastructure development where a railway station becomes the nucleus of an entire urban district. Around Chongqing East, the government has planned an area of about 3.5 square kilometers, 
including shopping centers, hotels, office towers, and public spaces. This means that every train arriving at the station not only brings passengers into a transport center, but also places them right inside a new urban core that is rapidly taking shape. From an urban distribution perspective, the new station relieves pressure on older downtown districts that are already congested and overburdened. By shifting development toward the east, Chongqing gains additional room to expand housing, industries, and services without placing unsustainable stress on existing infrastructure. This also balances growth across the city, avoiding the uneven expansion that often concentrates activity in only a few central districts. On the national level, Chongqing East serves as a gateway linking the Southwest to the vast Chinese high-speed rail network. With rapid connections to major cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Xi'an, and Wuhan, Chongqing is positioned at the crossroads of several economic corridors. This integration not only stimulates domestic trade, but also strengthens larger strategies such as the Belt and Road Initiative. Drawing Southwest China closer to international transport routes, the impact of Chongqing East is also visible in daily life. Thanks to its zero transfer hub design, passengers can step off a high-speed train and immediately transfer to metro lines, buses, or taxis within the same complex. Students commuting to Chengdu now travel in just about one hour instead of the four to five hours it once required. Business executives can complete a round trip to Beijing or Shanghai within a single working day. For local residents, seamless mobility is finally possible, cutting waiting times, lowering travel costs, and enhancing convenience. Economically, the station has become a powerful catalyst for investment in services. With hundreds of thousands of passengers arriving each day, retail, tourism, and real estate in the surrounding area are receiving an enormous boost. Multiple corporations have already announced plans to build office towers and shopping complexes next to the station to capture this flow of people. As a result, Chongqing East is not just a passenger hub, it is an engine of regional growth, reshaping the economic landscape of Southwest China. Chongqing East Railway Station is not only a massive infrastructure project, but also a symbol of how China is redefining the role of transportation in urban life. With an area of more than 13 million square feet, the capacity to serve hundreds of thousands of passengers each day, and the ability to integrate multiple modes of transport within a single space, this station goes far beyond the limits of a traditional transit hub. It stands as a vivid example of a forward-looking vision, infrastructure built not only to solve present needs, but also to lead the transformation of the future. What is even more remarkable is the philosophy of thinking big and building fast. While many nations struggle with projects delayed for decades, Chongqing East was completed in only six years. Despite the challenges of geography and climate, this approach highlights the power of combining advanced construction technology, unified planning, and political determination to turn ideas into reality. The impact of the station is not limited to transportation. It introduces a new model of urban development, where a railway hub evolves into the nucleus of an entire miniature city. This sends a powerful message to the world. When infrastructure is placed at the center of a development strategy, it can reshape the flow of people, goods, and even the future of entire regions. In the context of global competition, the birth of Chongqing East also serves as a reminder for other developed economies. When China envisions a station as an entirely new city integrating transport, commerce, services, and living spaces into one structure, the question becomes, are other nations ready to think this far ahead and act this fast? Ultimately, Chongqing East is not merely a place where trains begin and end. It is the meeting point of vision, technology, and ambition, a symbol of an era where infrastructure does more than serve. It leads the transformation of society and the global economy. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss the latest analysis on technology, national strategies, and the innovations shaping our future. Top 10 Discoveries official will return with untold stories, record-breaking projects, and quiet revolutions that spread across the world. See you in the next video.